For each angle, find all coterminal angles within the stated domain. In part A, find the coterminal angles of 60 degrees between negative 360 degrees and 1080 degrees. Begin with the terminal arm at 60 degrees. Find the positive coterminal angles by adding 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Both 420 degrees and 780 degrees are within the allowed domain, but 1140 degrees is too large. Return the terminal arm to 60 degrees. Find the negative coterminal angles by subtracting 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Negative 300 degrees falls within the allowed domain, but negative 660 degrees does not. The coterminal angles of 60 degrees that exist within the specified domain are listed below. 60 degrees is grayed out from the list since an angle can't be coterminal with itself. In part B, find the coterminal angles of negative 495 degrees between negative 1080 degrees and 720 degrees. Begin by finding the principal angle of negative 495 degrees. Rotate twice counterclockwise to get the principal angle of 225 degrees. Position the terminal arm at this angle. Find the positive coterminal angles by adding 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Five hundred eighty five degrees falls within the specified domain, but nine hundred forty five degrees does not. Return the terminal arm to two hundred twenty five degrees. Find the negative coterminal angles by subtracting three hundred sixty degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Negative 135 degrees, negative 495 degrees, and negative 855 degrees are within the specified domain, but negative 1215 degrees is not. The coterminal angles of negative 495 degrees that exist within the specified domain are listed below. Negative 495 degrees is grayed out from the list since an angle can't be coterminal with itself. Note that 225 degrees is both the principal angle and a coterminal angle of negative 495 degrees. In part C, we'll find the coterminal angles of 11.78 radians between negative 2 pi and 4 pi. Let's convert 11.78 radians to degrees so we can visualize it more clearly. Multiply 11.78 radians by the conversion multiplier 180 degrees over pi to get 675 degrees. Now find the principal angle. 675 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 315 degrees. It may also be helpful to convert the domain to degrees. Negative 2 pi times 180 degrees over pi is negative 360 degrees. 4 pi times 180 degrees over pi is 720 degrees. We write the domain from radians to degrees.
Now that we have rewritten all the radians as degrees, store them for use. Begin by positioning the terminal arm at 315 degrees. Find the positive coterminal angles by adding 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Six hundred seventy five degrees falls within the specified domain, but one thousand thirty five degrees does not. Return the terminal arm to three hundred fifteen degrees. Find the negative coterminal angles by subtracting three hundred sixty degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Negative 45 degrees is within the specified domain, but negative 405 degrees is not. The coterminal angles of 675 degrees that exist within the specified domain are listed below. 675 degrees is grayed out from the list since an angle can't be coterminal with itself. Note that 315 degrees is both the principal angle and a coterminal angle of 675 degrees. The original angle was an approximate radian, so we should express the answer in radian form too. Convert each coterminal angle to radians using the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees. For our final answer, we write the coterminal angles from degrees to approximate radian decimals. In part D, we'll find the coterminal angles of 8 pi over 3 between negative 13 pi over 2 and 37 pi over 5. Let's convert 8 pi over 3 to degrees so we can visualize it more clearly. Multiply 8 pi over 3 by the conversion multiplier 180 degrees over pi to get 480 degrees. Now find the principal angle. 480 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 120 degrees. It may also be helpful to convert the domain to degrees. Negative 13 pi over 2 times 180 degrees over pi gives us a negative 1170 degrees. 37 pi over 5 times 180 degrees over pi gives us 1332 degrees. We write the domain from radians to degrees. Now that we have rewritten all the radians as degrees, store them for use. Begin by positioning the terminal arm at 120 degrees. Find the positive coterminal angles by adding 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Four hundred eighty degrees, eight hundred forty degrees, and twelve hundred degrees exist within the specified domain, but one thousand five hundred sixty degrees does not. Return the terminal arm to one hundred twenty degrees. Find the negative coterminal angles by subtracting 360 degrees until we are outside the allowed domain. Negative 240 degrees, negative 600 degrees, and negative 960 degrees exist within the specified domain, but negative 1320 degrees does not. The coterminal angles of 480 degrees that exist within the specified domain are listed below. 480 degrees is grayed out from the list since an angle can't be coterminal with itself. In this example, 120 degrees is both the principal angle and a coterminal angle of 480 degrees.
The original angle was expressed as an exact radian, 8 pi over 3, so we should convert our answer to this form as well. Convert each degree to an exact value radian using the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees. This is our final answer.